Hey guys, I just freaking recorded this for some reason. My video editor is crapping out on me, so I'm gonna beat up a baby sloth. I so help me, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> jokes aside, jokes aside, I, I'm gonna teach you guys how to deploy um, to the Amoy testnet today. And really, this concept came up because I just did a Polygon. Um, build and if you hadn't checked that video out it's a messaging dap uh, give that a check it's still all same deal just instead of deploying on mumbai you want to deploy on amoy um but i just noticed that the mumbai network is getting deprecated as of as of uh it's getting deprecated april 7th but i noticed today that that's going on so i thought i would um show a video here on how to deploy to test nets or or just make kind of a future proof video on on configuring test nets in general so that way that way most people aren't like oh well it doesn't work with mumbai so how do i do this with sepolia or gorelli or or whichever test net, or maybe a moi will get deprecated in the future so this is uh maybe maybe i'll say how to deploy contracts with test nets uh, but specifically this right now is for a moi uh, but it but it should work with mumbai test nets you know um anything alike um, so, so hopefully, hopefully this, this is a bit of a future proof video. I'm thinking of a way how to do it, but I'm going to go to my terminal real quick and say NPX third web, uh, creates and what third web has allowed with their SDK is us to create stuff very effortlessly applications. Uh, you can see contract extensions and contracts. So I'll just click on the contract one. I'll say dot slash for the, the, uh, thing here. And then it, I'll choose forge or hard hat. I'm going to choose hard hat. Name of the contract, I actually have a counter uh, contract that I want to do. We'll just do an empty contract for now. And it'll configure all the files uh, with hard hat, with, uh, I think there's some build stuff that they they have here, some deploy stuff we could do that we're actually going to do. Um, and then I, I know with Mumbai, they would actually verify and publish the contract for you. Uh, with Amoy, currently they don't have that feature, but in the future they will, which is super important. So... Uh, but we'll go to contracts up here in the top left. And I'm going to, instead of just one hand to get out now, two handed here. I, I have a, um, a contract that I've pasted in here or copied and had, had in my copy that I'll just paste in here. But but long story short, maybe actually I'll just build it with you guys real quick. So we'll just say contract. Um, let's, let's build it as a counter or whatever we need. And um, I, I don't want my copilot to to be up right now. So, so I just want to chat with you guys a little mono e mono, a little uno, uno pour toi. I don't even, I don't even know if that's French for anything, but, <laughs> but, but I figured I'd chat, you know? Uh, so, so I'm, I'm, I've downgraded to an old version of Solidity on this, just to make sure that this works. Uh, I'm using the MIT license and a contract is basically just a class uh, within, within object oriented programming. So, so let's define a address uh, variable um, we'll, we'll have a basic, uh, maybe event or something to say the count has gone up and then, um, we'll return the count. We'll, we'll just do a counter contract or we can do something different as well. I just had it in the pocket. Like I said, I did it right before this, the video didn't work. So I want to punch a baby sloth, but, uh, yeah, so, so <laughs> let's, let's not do that. Um, I'll just make a, a, um, variable here. You can see it. Copilot's helping me with the address public deployer. And I want to do a constructor where on construction, um, all, all this constructor function does is it, it just gets fired off whenever the contract is built. So it's just like a one-time function that it, it's literally a function, no different than other functions. And it just gets fired off on, uh, on build on basically mount of the, the, uh, contract, the, the class, if you will, onto a server. Um, is, is roughly what's going on. So, so let's set the deployer variable that we just made to the msg.sender. And this msg.sender, this is that msg variable that we have access to. You can see we get the signature, the gas, the data, the value. This msg uh, bit is uh, one, it's part of pho, which is absolutely delicious. It's part part of you know kind of that Eastern Chinese food. It's it's really a Vietnamese food. It's delicious as ever. It's a good good thing. It's it's dangerous for you, but but it's good. Uh, but in blockchain world, it's it's also really good for for uh, just having access to who's sending what to the contract. So if I want to access 
the way or the ETH value or the native currency value. Um, I could just say msg.value of where we're sending that stuff. Um, likewise with the gas, the signature, all that stuff. So it says first four bytes of a call data. Sweet. Look at that. Uh, so we get the call data here. So that's fun. But we're just going to use the sender, which is going to be the um, the actual address of who's deploying this contract, uh, which will be my address. So let's build a function of count up and we'll make it a view uh, external function. So external and public. And all it will do, it'll just change the count. Oh, and I didn't, I actually didn't make a count variable. We will need to do that. So I'll say you add count. Uh, we'll make it 256 as well. And we see it's a public external. So I'll say returns a uh, UNT 256. Actually, do I need to return it? Does this, do I need to do that? Technically, if I'm mutating it, do I need to, uh, whatever. Anyway, and then we'll also do a get count variable. So this will just return the actual uh, perfect external view. Uh, and it, it's just going to return the count. So we just have we just have a query and a mutation um, happening, <clears throat> nothing too complicated, uh, and <clears throat> and that's it. And and obviously for for your guys' contracts, I imagine with much more functionality, much more things that you want to build. But just to give the idea of querying and mutating data, here we go. Um, and maybe one other tidbit I I want to add is just an event. So we'll say uh, count uh, counter incremented. Sure, that'll work. And then we'll need to um, emit that event. So we'll do that. And then we can even do an event for counter uh, uh, fetched or something. And we'll actually emit that here. Oops, not that. We'll emit that event here. So just so we can see uh, that these these events are happening. Oh, this is not uh, publicly accessible. So how, how can I do this? I'll have to pass in the count. Okay, we just won't emit event there. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Fuck it. Just keep it easy. Um, <laughs> so so this is this is all we need right right at this point. And what I could do, pop open my terminal and I'll say MPX third web deploy. And we'll see. We'll get all these configurations. And if this is your first time doing it, it'll take you to third web. It'll make you make an account and kind of configure that stuff. Um, but if you already got one. Boom, right here. This is what it'll pop up with you. This is it trying to deploy. And it's it's asking, which network and chain are you trying to deploy to? Um, you can see right now I've already pre-selected Mumbai. It's just because my wallet's on Mumbai. Um, but we actually want to go to Amoy because it's Mumbai's going to be deprecated. So over here, it'll say, allow this site to switch to this network. And we'll switch to this network. And we no longer get that deprecation message, which is awesome. And we could go ahead and deploy. Now, if you don't have this, totally no sweat because it may, and I'm not sure on the or order of this, but you may need to add Polygon Amoy's testnet to your deal. So um, let's do that. So we'll say Polygon um, Amoy testnet real quick. And there's an article on it by Polygon, polygon.technology. Guys, I'm always a pro, proactive or proponent um, someone who's always vocal about using the blue standard things, like the blue blue chips of things. Like use third web, do not use some sketchy Discord message that's like, here's the RPC for this network. Don't do that. Use like the real directly from Polygon, here you go, you know? Um, but it's going to give you all the network configurations if you scroll down right here. If we go to our, our MetaMask, top left, we can we can configure the network we need. If we need to add a network, click add a network, click add a network manually. And this is where you just pop in um, right here, boom, Polygon testnet right here like that. If you need to use the RPC, there's the verified one right there off Polygon's technology. Um, we need chain ID 80002. Um, so, so we have all that stuff right here. Here's the symbol for it. Just, just walk down the steps, right? And the block explorer, you don't have to add it, but here it is, keeps it easy for you. Um, oh, there it is. And I've already got this configured, so I think that's why it's throwing me this error. But um, for you, it should just say, hey, this is the this is currently used by the Polygon Amoy testnet. Boom, perfect. 
So maybe that's already, I, I think that's definitely already configured in my wallet as it is right here. Boom, there it is. So that's why I'm getting the error, but you likely will not. So add that network to your MetaMask and you should be off to the races. Um, I'm going to close out of MetaMask and I'm going to close out of the Polygon technology. So if that didn't pop up for you right here or you have configurations issues for adding it to your MetaMask, that's how to do it. I'll go ahead and deploy. Oh, oh, one other bit. You need some Polygon Amoy Matic. So before I deploy, let me let me just keep that here for a sec. We want to go to Polygon Amoy Testnet Faucet, right? Um, and here we have a Polygon technology again, their faucet. Uh, wait, where is it? Polygon Faucet. And I just added this to my um, wallet, but for you, this should be available for you. Uh, just give it a sec to load. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Let's see. Let me refresh. Had a little issue. Boom. So just choose your network. Mumbai is still there. May not be there in the future. But just go down to Amoy and enter your token, enter your address. Again, use the verified faucets. Like, don't use some sketchy. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to your computer. Don't do that to your tech. Just use, like, the proper blue chip thing. Uh, so polygon or faucet.polygon.technology. Make sure you're using the Amoy. Throw so on your address. It may have you connect in Discord. They, you know, just to build their community, all that stuff. Throw your address in. You're going to get some um, <clears throat> some faucet matic, some testnet matic for the Amoy testnet. And I'm going to close out of that. Um, let's open up my MetaMask again. So boom, let's confirm this transaction. You need just a smidge of matic to deploy the contract. Um, again, it should be free. And boom, speed up. Sure. We'll just deploy it quicker, quicker, quicker. Let's see. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Deploy, deploy. Signature unapproved. Let's approve it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Rapido. Rapido. Si oh, I needed to sign it. <laughs> so there we go. It's confirmed. And come on. Let's get it on the dashboard. Come on. Let's go. This step is gasless. All right. Boom. There it is. Successfully deployed the contract in third web is amazing, right? They add the contract to your Explorer already. So we could actually test out the function that we just built, the count up one. We could also do the uh, uh, check the variables, the git count one and the, the deployer. So we could see the address of the of the person who deployed it, which is, you know, my address, obviously. Uh, we could get count. So let's let's test out the count up functionality. I'll click on it. Go ahead and count it up. Let's see. Charges a little bit of money to the old the old account. Should be free. Uh, let's see. It should give us a transaction hash if it's successful. And yeah, and then we can actually check polygons uh, or the polyscan, the new the new one for Amoy polygon Amoy. So here's our transaction hash. Let's just do the read function real quick. We'll get the count. It's one, so we know it's working. Let's check Polygon Amoy. And this is the contract. This is the legit real contract right here, easily deployed. And we saw the count up function happen. Um, now, typically, typically third web um, does verify and publish your contract for you. You're gonna have to go through that if you, if you want your contract audited, you wanna make sure it's a public facing proper contract, make sure to verify the contract. Um, to be transparent, I haven't fully fleshed it out with a um, with a Moy. I think it's just because of how I compile it. I, I'm not sure the compiling the compilation version with here. I think it's I think it's 819. So we could try live real quick. Let me just pull in the contract real quick. So we say contract source code. Boom, here it is. Um, library. We're not really using any libraries. I think we're using the MIT license. We are. So I'll submit it. Let's try. Hopefully it goes through but I'm not sure which compilation version I'm using. Contract verification failed, yeah. So, um, but again, probably in a week or so, you may not need to worry about verifying your contract if you're deploying through third web. They should handle that out of the box for you. Not a problem. Uh, but that is literally how to deploy a contract. This is a live thing. So now if you need to... Uh, uh, let me let me get this contract again, or go to go to Polygon Amoy's Block Explorer. If you need to um, 
now integrate Web3 or uh, some Ethers JS library, this is a live testnet contract. So if you want to pull in these functions, these mutations and queries from here or, or link up your contract now to your front end, this is all, all up and running. You just get your contract address and um and get to work you know and third web has an amazing sdk library for all of that so um i will make a video on that but this is a live contract that we just deployed in what 15 minutes and um yeah we have we have polygon matic amoy uh mumbai or uh, amoy matic excuse me not not mumbai we have polygon amoy matic that is kind of a tongue twister um and yeah, and the contract is deployed. We could check it out, see the event logs. The count up function was was working great. Uh, we could we could write more if we want. Get the transaction hash. It's just great, you know. Uh, Third web makes it effortless, it's super easy. Um, I do want to make a video on how to deploy on Remix, but I know you cannot deploy to Remix as of today to Amoy. Um, you can do it to Mumbai. But so, or other test nets, obviously. So I'll, I'll uh, probably do a video for, for one of those. Uh, but I did just want to show how to deploy contracts on the Amoy test net, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope, I hope this was, was an easy learn, a fun one, just a simple, straightforward, hey, do this, do this, boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. So, so write something in the comments on what you want to see next, blockchain wise, Web3 wise. I uh, would love to offload any knowledge I have. So thank you guys so much. Cheers.